Thank you. Now I recognize the gentleman from South Carolina, Mr. Gowdy, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Director Clancy, do you believe Congress has a constitutional right to provide oversight over the Secret Service? Yes, sir. Do you believe that Chairman Chaffetz and Ranking Member uh, Cummings are motivated solely by a desire to see what is best for the President and for the agency itself? Yes, sir. With those two thoughts in mind, does this committee have every single bit of video footage available from that evening? Say, I'm sorry, sir. You... Does this committee have all available video footage from that evening? It does not, sir. Why not? Sir, we have uh, provided that uh, footage, video that we have to this committee. Uh, all of it. We have shown two clips. We have not shown all of it. That's, that's, that's not my question, Director. You just said that Congress has a constitutional responsibility to provide oversight. You just agreed with me that Ranking Member Cummings and Chairman Chaffetz have the best interest of the President and the agency in mind, so why wouldn't you not turn over all video footage to this committee? Congressman, we will show all video uh, at any time, day or night, that this committee would like to review the uh, footage that we have. Uh, we, will, we have done that. In fact, the Chairman was the first, I believe, to see this uh, video before we show it. With all due respect, that's not true. Go, go ahead, Mr. Gowdy. No, I would, I would, I would want. I'd like to just correct. If I have to correct the record, I'd like to correct it. I would like to yield to the gentleman from Utah because I was under the misapprehension, apparently, that this committee was not in possession of all available f video from that night. That's correct. They are not in possession of the video, but we did uh, allow the chairman to view the video. You've shown us less than one minute of video. Yes, we. Yes, sir. Well, back, back to my question. Will you make all available video? And I say available because we're going to get in a second to the fact that all of it was not preserved. Will you make all available video available to this committee? We will make all uh, video available to this committee for your review uh, at any time, day or night. Will you make a copy of it available so we can retain custody as opposed to simply showing it to us? I will not release a copy of this video at this point. Why not? The, the OIG uh, has an ongoing investigation. Do you think the OIG's responsibilities supersede those of Congress? Sir, I know that they have an ongoing investigation. Well, ca ca can't you have simultaneous ongoing investigations? Why can't Congress provide oversight while the IG is investigating? Why do you have to pick and choose? Sir, again, I think we have one initial investigation from the OIG, and we've given them the film to look at. But, but, uh, but you, un you understand the responsibility of, of the IG is very different from the responsibility of Congress. Congress determines funding, among other things. The IG does not. Sir. So, so those two are not exclusive. Why can't Congress investigate what's in its jurisdiction while the IG does what's in its jurisdiction? Congressman, I'm sure after the OIG's investigation... I don't want to wait till after, because then that makes me think that you believe that Congress's constitutional responsibility to provide oversight is subservient to the IG. And surely to the Lord, you can't believe that. Sir, the ongoing investigation that the Secret Service has as well regarding the, uh, the P, uh, protective intelligence case, we have an individual who committed a crime, made a threat... Uh, and that investigation is also going on at this time within the Secret Service. And department. how will providing that video footage to Congress jeopardize that ongoing investigation? That is, With precision, how will it? That video uh, shows the actions of the individual who would be accused of a criminal I, I get that. My question is how will providing that to Mr. Cummings and Mr. Chaffetz jeopardize an ongoing investigation? Well, again... With specificity. I am happy to show that video uh, all day and, and be available at all hours of the day and night to show that video, but uh, at this point we cannot release that uh, video. All right, that's the video that is available. The video that is not available, will you agree with me that there are at least two potential crime scenes at play on the evening of March 4th? At least two. There's an assault on an officer and there's a suspicious package. That's correct. All right. Why would the video not be preserved as part of that ongoing investigation that you just cited as the reason you can't give the video to Congress? 
Why wouldn't you preserve it? The, the process, of, my understanding of the process is that the watch commander on site uh, relays back the incident that he is the incident commander for, and he calls back to our joint operations center and says, we do have an incident here, we have a suspicious package, uh, preserve the video from this incident. D Director, I, I, I'm out of time, but I, I want you to consider for just a moment the dueling narratives that you had just portrayed. Sir. Number one, we're not going to give the video that does exist to Congress because its investigation is subservient to the IG investigation. That's narrative number one. And narrative number two is you're not even going to preserve video that could be used in a investigation of two potential crimes. We, did I hear that right? Well, we did preserve the, uh, the video, the footage from the incident as those in the Joint Operations Center viewed it. Are you familiar the, the with... The gentleman's, gentleman's time has expired. Well, some of my time was taken by the chairman, but that is the chairman's prerogative, and I would, of course, not ask for any more. And the chairman obviously made the right ruling, so... <laughs> I yield back. Good decision.